Hey everyone and welcome to the first video in a series that I've been thinking about doing for a really long time. We're going to start with something super easy, keyboard shortcuts regarding navigation. These might be too simple for you, but in case they're not, I'm going to start off nice and slowly. Here I'm demonstrating how you can move the cursor, not just letter by letter, but also line by line, word by word, and paragraph by paragraph. We'll go over how to do each of these. It's going to be about three minutes, so stick with me. Now, I know that some of you are really great with computers and probably don't need this tutorial, but for those of you who are just starting out, the key here is to build efficiency. At first, the movements are going to feel very weird to your fingers. You're not going to find that they're comfortable. You're going to keep forgetting to use them. But as you get better and better, you'll see that it really does speed up your workflow. So some of the simple concepts uh, include combinations of some of these helping keys as well as the arrows. Here you can see what each of these symbols means. You're going to see the letters at the bottom of the screen as I demonstrate how they're being used. So this is a bit of a layout and now let's get into some of the practice. So right now we're using a sample text just to practice. You can move letter by letter which is how most people use but once you hold down the option key you can actually navigate word by word. So option key and your left and right arrows will help you move through the text so much faster than if you were just doing it letter by letter. Now if you did command and left and right arrows, instead of moving word by word, you would jump to the end of the line or to the beginning. By holding down the shift key, you can highlight. You can highlight and combine this with other keyboard shortcuts that we've learned. For instance, if you hold down the option and the shift key together, you can highlight word by word instead of doing it letter by letter as you previously might have. Same thing if you did the shift and the command key, you can highlight an entire line without having to actually lift your fingers and touch the cursor. Now that we've discussed all of those, let me show you a new one. By using the up and down arrows, you can now move by paragraphs when you hold down the command key. And similarly, when you hold down the command and the shift, you can sub select paragraph by paragraph, which makes your workflow so much faster than doing it line by line or word by word. Now, we've practiced a lot. It might seem really confusing in the beginning, but I promise you it gets easier with practice. I have included all of the notes in the bottom and the description so you can just look through those and get to work. Here's to working more efficiently and let me know if you want more videos.